wearing those things? Because they go with every outfit that I own. Yeah, well, at least now you're not wearing it as a belt. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley with the uh, Big Beads. Big Beads Loon. <laughs> That's right, the Loon. <laughs> and folks, we're so excited because today we are still in a big old Mardi Gras mood. Yes. We're always in a Mardi Gras mood. And we are making a classic classic New Orleans dish. Every time we go down there, it's one of the Always. first things we order, yes. right? I love it. So good. We are doing a Creole-style jambalaya. Mm. Mm. All right. I Let's know. All right. It. So let me give Come you on. just a little bit, quick little history about jambalaya. Okay. So supposedly the word jambalaya, they think, comes from some fr French provincial word that means kind of like a mashup called jambalaya. Oh, like that. that's interesting. You know, and the, and the great thing, what I love about New Orleans cuisine is there's so many influences from like Spain and France and from the deep south and all of these just incredible cultures coming together to make incredible oh, food. I know, it's amazing. Art it really is. Music and... And these beads. <laughs> I'm not sure where that came from. But anyway, so let's talk a little Everybody bit. Everybody gets is, together and this, makes beads. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Those are certainly a beaded statement. But anyway, let's get back to the jambalaya. <laughs> all right. So all this right, is, right. as I said, Creole style. There's also what's called Cajun style. They're really very similar. The only really difference is one has tomatoes and one I doesn't. knew it. Yeah. I knew that was This it. is Creole style and this is what was really, po this is what's really popular in New Orleans. So we're going to put some tomatoes in it. Yeah, supposedly the word is at the back, you know, the, the Spaniards, when they were making this, they were trying to recreate paella. And, but the oh. saffron is an ingredient that is prominent in Spain and in paella and it wasn't in New Orleans so they used tomatoes I, in the place of it. I Isn't should that know that. Why I should know you know that? Because I know that interesting type of information. Yep. Well, for no reason do, whatsoever. Now you do know it. <laughs> so anyway, so we I we love the tomato based version. It also a lot of times they throw mm. in in addition to the proteins of like chicken and sausage, they also put in shrimp. So we're going to do that today. Yes. So, so here let me shrimp. tell you what we've got. Speaking of chicken, yeah. We started off I started off, I took a little bit of olive oil, I heated up my big Dutch oven, which is mm -hmm. great to make this in. I've got about, I'll say close to two pounds, pound and a half of chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs because they just stay moist. That dark meat is perfect for, yes. for jambalaya. It's yeah. really great. Totally. Ooh. Salt and pepper them and then cook them up and then take them off um, and then cut them up and then you're going to put them back in when you're almost done with all of this. That it sounds so fantastic. So good. Now let me tell you what's in this. Now, so I took that out, then I put a little more oil in here, and I got some andouille sausage. About three lengths, it's a, it's a little over a pound. Andouille sausage is so good. It's pork sausage with Cajun spices yes. in it. It's got a little bit of heat, but not mm, too much. It's so I good. I love andouille sausage. So I started to brown that up. Oh my gosh, if you could smell it, I know. it's just amazing. It's, I wish there was smell-o-vision. I know there should be. Yeah. And then, what I did well, was I longer. added... I added, a, yeah, well, the Cajun version of Willy Wonka. But anyway, so then I went and really amped up the flavors and I added in some veggies. It's kind of like the holy trinity of Cajun yeah. vegetables, but plus a couple Is more. Is it jalapeno, one there's of them? There's a little jalapeno. Oh, there's right. some green bell pepper. Uh -huh. There's some onion. There's some celery. And then there's That's some garlic. That's more than a trinity. I said plus a couple more. Oh, so that would be like this a... doesn't listen. A quin, uh, quin, quin, quin... A holy quintuplet. Quintuplet? <laughs> anyway... So it's divinely delicious. Okay, so this has been cooking. I let this cook down. It's just absolutely yeah, get spectacular. Get a nice coating there. Now mm -hmm. we're going to really deepen the flavors even more. Um, and what I've got here is I've got a tablespoon of, of tomato paste. i got to get it out. And then a tablespoon of our favorite Louisiana hot sauce that this I stuff added. is the, the bomb. bomb. So good. And then so I good. put a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. Mixed it all together. And now that is going to go into the party. And start to really de deepen these flavors, and that kind of gives it a little bit of a thickness too. It thickens it a little bit, and yeah. it just it just sort of starts to build the base to this incredible in this incredible mm. jambalaya. You oh, can just smell it. Can't even it. take it. It's amazing. And then I'm going to put in my spice blend, which you can get all of these exact measurements ingredients, of course, on how to feed a loon. That's right. But this has got chili powder. This has got oregano. This has got garlic powder. Smoked in my paprika. Favorite, smoked paprika. Smoked Paprika, <laughs> white pepper, uh, black pepper, you name it, it's in here, but it just continues to make these flavors good. And now... I love a good old Hungarian smoked paprika. Too. I do too, like a That's sweet pepper. That's good for a goulash. It is. Mm. But we're making um, I know. jambalaya. All right, right now away. this is going to be the color of a gorgeous Louisiana sunset. Yes. It's so beautiful. Now we need to... 
We're going to... Oh, I've got some fresh time here. That's great. I've <laughs> don't got, forget about the time. I know. I'm, I don't want to run out of time. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. I've never played heard that one before. Okay, now we're going to add some tomatoes. Like I said, that is really important. No, no those are San Marzano, Marzano tomatoes. Those these are. are. And these are specific. You have to make sure that they're from the San Marzano region of Italy. <laughs> Well, I just love San Marzano because they're so fresh <laughs> yeah, and they're so delicious. Some, sometimes there have been some manufacturers who say they're a San Marzano, but they're not really from San Marzano. But if you look on the can, it says certified. But anyway, so what I did yes. is I took that can and I pulled out the tomatoes and I just squeezed, squeezed them into, them. into that little that bowl yep. until all of those tomatoes were by themselves. And then it leaves about this much juice. So you want about two cups of tomato juice. That would be wonderful for a Bloody Mary. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and a little Louisiana hot sauce. Mm -hmm. we got the makings. <laughs> Maybe we'll have some jambalaya and oh, a little Bloody Mary. There we go. That spells, if that doesn't sound like the French Quarter, I don't know. On a, I know. On a Saturday morning. That's right. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to, we've got two cups. This is my homemade chicken stock. If you can do homemade, do it because it's always going to enhance the flavor even that much more. Oh, the liquid gold. That's right. We so, actually, I wrote a little piece about it, about uh, how you made stock the first time in our lives. Yes. And it, it was like, he was buying all this chicken, and I thought, woo, fried chicken. No, he was just buying all these bits and pieces to boil up to make this wonderful stock, but <laughs> made everything taste delicious. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but anyway, that's a whole other story. Yes. Okay, so I added, if you could just keep that in mind, I added two cups of tomato liquid, two cups of chicken stock, so that's four cups of liquid. I'm going to throw in a couple of bay leaves. Bay oh, leaves are... Those are instrumental. In, in Cajun, Cajun or cooking. Creole? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're very important, yes. I believe, is what he's trying to say. Yeah. All right, so like and I said, I had four cups of liquid. Now I've got two cups of long grain white rice. So the ratio for cooking rice is typically what you say, two to one. So this is perfect. We've got four cups of liquid oh. to two cups of rice. Oh. Two to one. That's yeah, simple. That's so math. Math is so much fun, <laughs> especially when it. you're cooking. Okay. So now what we are going to do is I've got this all stirred up. I've preheated my oven to 320, 20, 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Close. 325 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. I'm getting so excited. It's getting close. So I that's going to go. Your taste buds are they're, like they're salivating. taking over my body. I'm like, ah. ah. So this is going to go into the oven. Um, I'm going to put a lid on this and it's going to go in for 40 minutes. Now, like oh. I said, we're going to put the chicken in at the very end, but there's one other ingredient that we're going to throw. Oh, I should, this is some salt. You definitely yeah. want to, um, definitely salt is a key, <laughs> key. I love a little sea salt. Key seasoning here. Yes, I love it. So um, I put two teaspoons in there. Um, this, it, could you, it needs quite a bit of salt, um, so I would definitely go with two teaspoons. And then I've got some shrimp. This is some Yay. gulf shrimp that I just love. It's nice, big, large shrimp. It's about a pound. If you love shrimp, you can do more. If you're not so big in shrimp, you can either leave it out or do less. But I love it. But you don't want to overcook this, and you don't want to overcook no. the chicken. So you don't want any rubbery shrimp no. or rubbery chicken. No, it's, it's, that's the, that'll ruin this incredible You dish. want a rubber chicken just to have for fun, but you <laughs> yeah. don't want rubbery chicken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, those are words to live by. So anyway, so the shrimp cooks very quickly. So we're after 40 minutes, we're going to bring this uh, jambalaya out. We're going to add the chicken, and we're going to add the shrimp. I'm going to put it back in for five more minutes. Then I'll pull it out, let it sit, let it rest for about 15 minutes to really oh. meld all those flavors. Oh and then my. it's ready to eat, okay? All right. All so right. we are now going to put this into the... I was going to say the refrigerator. We're going to put it into the <laughs> oven, and then we're almost there. Yeah, we'll yeah. see you in just a few. Oh, oh. <laughs> it smells you guys, like heaven we are in, in here. Jambalaya. Oh. Heaven, that is for sure. So, Jambalaya. let me just do a quick recap. Okay. After 45, <laughs> stop your dancing. I know it's exciting, but after 45. I'm 40, jiggling my beads. <laughs> well, that's not the only thing jiggling. But anyway, back to the jambalaya. <laughs> yes. Not the jigalaya. <laughs> Stop it. So anyway, I t after 40 minutes, I took out my Dutch oven. I stirred in that uncooked shrimp. Oh. I stirred in my cooked uh, chicken. Stirred the whole thing up. Oh. Put it back in the oven. That with was the torture. Lid on. I know, I know. Torture. It was hard. It was a hard five torture. minutes. Um, let it go for another five minutes. That cooked that shrimp just perfectly. I took it out. I let it sit for another uh, 15 minutes just to let it cool and let those flavors meld. Now let me just tell you real quick why I did the oven 
option as opposed to the stovetop. You can oh. certainly do stovetop when you're cooking your rice. Oh. Many, many cooks have done that for generations and it's great. I just find sometimes it's, it can be a little bit when you're doing that slow, low heat, the rice on the bottom can get maybe a little overcooked, the rice at the top oh. is a little undercooked. It's a little hard, you know. That's a wonderful tip. Thanks. <laughs> so doing it in the oven, it really, it just solves that problem and it just cooks it perfectly. I really uh, like it. So well, anyway. the next time I make jambalaya, I'll have to do that. Well, as I've said, I won't hold my breath. But <laughs> anyway, all right, go ahead, dig in. Yes, I'm so I don't know why I'm talking. It looks amazing. Ooh. You gonna do any hot sauce? Oh. <laughs> what would I do without Chris and my hot sauce? <laughs> well, mm. sometimes you get us mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, that looks and smells so good, you guys. You have. All right, I need to get in there. Oh. There's some good chicken. Mm -hmm. I got some chicken. I got some shrimp. Oh, this is a big. Oh, and I got Ooh, some. Oh, you got a whole. Yeah. I mean, there's so many different Here things go. going on in jump. It is a mishmash of yummy. It's the real thing, right? <laughs> I feel a revival coming on. <laughs> it is. <laughs> The flavors mm, that I that, know. I don't know. I, I don't know how you do it. Well, uh, it's called again. New Orleans uh, classic. I mean, I'm just, it's my riff on what it's I It's a think little is. voodoo is what it is. <laughs> a little voodoo action. I love that. It is that, the the shrimp and the chicken and the andouille, all in, that mm. is the holy trinity. <laughs> it is. It is so it amazing. It is so good. And those, oh, that little Cajun mm. spice thing that you, all those little spices that you put mm -hmm. together that had the, the, the everything. Smoked, yeah, paprika, the paprika and everything. Oh, yeah. Don't try to listen amazing. to Amazing. Now on. this is 100, 100% 100 Luna approved. I had a feeling it would be. <laughs> now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. That's right. And be sure to follow all of our social channels so you will not, you won't miss a single thing. Yes. You can get all these recipes, all the fun tips and everything. Totally. All right. So, subscribe. That's right. right. I'm going in for more. Yeah, be oh, careful. Look at that man, Dewey. I know. I do really want some. <laughs> now that is unlawful. <laughs> that is an unlawful taste. So good. It's too good to be bad. Wait, too bad? Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey, if you like what you saw, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. And to get more awesome Cajun recipes, just click here. Yeah, Yay. right here. Bye.